Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Ria. Ria on the run here at my turnaround point. Um, just slowing it down for a second to uh, hold space with Gaia. I didn't have any particular message, but you never know as we sit, we'll receive exactly what we need. And of course, all messages, um, <laughs> what Gaia is saying, is it needs not words. It's an energetic vibration. It's an energetic infusion, balancing, reflection, collecting, expanding, illuminating. So what Gaia wants us to focus on is um, our illumination of our, our portal, our sun, our center with, with her. We'll do, a, um, we'll do a breath. We'll do the cross breath in with the sun, that sun representing that portal of light, everlasting all time and space, always there, always vibrating. But as you all know, we come to the physical as spiritual to have the experience, to have our God self experience, guys, in a sensory, physical, 3D limiting way in order to catalyze and trigger self-realization and expansion. Good morning for those who are out there. If you don't mind sharing, I would appreciate it. So I'm just gonna um, do the cross breath, maybe do some light language. If something comes through as we are uh, breathing into our heart, which automatically grounds us. Whenever we connect to our heart, our hearts are one with Mother Earth, that actually grounds us to our physical experience. That grounds us to our soul signature, our divine frequency imprint. So I'm just gonna um, turn into the sun. Hopefully it doesn't freeze up, guys. So like I say, everything in the physical, everything we see before our eyes is representative, reflective, mirroring our own state of being as humans. Spiritual beings come in as human. So this light, the sun, represents that portal, that connection when we take a deep breath in. We're dropping from our mind, focusing, connecting, breathing in, feeling into our heart energy, allowing all to come forth that needs to come forth. We're connecting to the highest frequency available to us now. And as we connect and what we bring our focus, our light to, it grows. Wherever we bring our focus, it's like watering a plant, says Gaia. Focus and bring yourself to your center. All answers are within. Also, she is saying, um, before we begin our breath, that focus on that which you want, not that which you don't want. If you focus on all the missing parts that you perceive, all the negatives, all the trials, all the tribulations, all the struggles, um, all the what we would call negatives, even though really it's all working for us, we'll create more of that. Allow, she says, not to, do not resist, but allow feelings to go through you, but not to be stuck on them when they don't feel good. Focus on what you want, not your fears, because then you kind of keep yourself in a cycle of fear-based reality. We are never stuck, she says. We are one with her. We are God source energy. We are creating our reality with every breath. So this is why it is important to come to our center, come to our breath of now, because that is where all power lies and that's where we're creating. And when we connect to our breath, we become the activator of all our power, of our codes, of our DNA. Stuff within us we never knew was there, beautiful, and things that need releasing. So we'll take a nice deep breath in, guys. Drop into our heart space. Hold it. Feel your energy. Visualize. Visualize yourself as a being of love and light. Pure God source awareness. Thankful, happy, appreciative, enthusiastic of this experience that you are connecting to. And exhale. Try to, <coughs> try to push that last breath out. Helps to release any little blockages so as we just focus to our higher self to all that we are in all place all space and time there is no really linear time even though we're creating that experience 
we have just connected to our highest frequency and on that exhale it's the out breath it's releasing all that we just connected to to be realized to be experienced she wants us just to um, sit sit in the space for a second allow the light of the Sun to penetrate to permeate to connect with the light within you so that it touches the light within you and expands beyond all comprehension. Gaia says this is a, uni a uniting, a unition <laughs> of the spiritual, of the physical, of the outside with the inside. Imagine our hearts meeting the light of the sun. Our hearts are one with Mother Earth. The sun is representative of the light within. It's a culmination, illumination, expansion of all that we are. And it permeates all space and time. It permeates, penetrates, extends, because we are everywhere all at once, into all other timelines for healing, all other dimensions. To clear, balance, and align us. This does not mean you're not going to feel down. This does not mean that you might have negative feelings throughout the day. This might not mean that you're not going to that you're not going to question anymore. That's all good. It's all part of the experience. Just allow and let it flow, but keep your focus on the light. The light is your innate nature. It is your healing. It's okay. It's okay to let all flow. She says, our light reflects in all of our awareness and all of the 3D on Mother Earth and all physical that is before us, like the sun reflecting on the ocean. You are rays of light coming to reflect your light in this physical reality. You are reflecting your light in everything around you, just like the sun bouncing and playing off the ocean. It's reflection. See the beauty in all around you. And in that, you amplify your beauty. You're illumin you illuminate your light. You already are all that you ever were and will be. It's simply allowing the experience of it. Gaia says, do not be so hard on yourself. We hold ourselves at such high standards, standards that were never placed on us by God's source energy. Release all, break through all, shatter all illusions now. Come into an alignment of the truth that you are. All is of love, all is, all is pure, God's source energy. She just shows me the spiral, the spiral sun spiraling all around you, encompassing you, encasing you, deep from Mother Earth to the sun, connecting. She wants you to think of yourselves as pillars, pillars of this light, this bridge of light connecting the heavens with the earth. You are a pillar of light. You shine your light on all that you focus on. This is how you change your exterior, your outside world. Shine your light. Do not be shy. Do not be apologetic. Do not be inhibited. It takes courage, she says, and strength to rise up against the masses. Yet, 
it should be effortless in the way that you're just allowing that which you already are. Kotahita. You earn her protection. Kotahita sahina paikiita. Shuriata ahi. You are protected at all times. You are a pillar of light. Nothing can hurt you. Kaina tai. When you find yourself being enveloped by fears and doubts and all of that stuff, she says, say everything is always okay. Everything is always working out for my benefit. Abundance abounds. Kotahina. She thanks all of us and all of you for sharing your light, for shining your light, for being brave souls, for being warriors of light. May you all shine with the entirety of all the love and light that you are.